Welcome to the Crazy Town Podcast. I'm Jonas. And I'm TNT Don. I'm IT Explosive One. Let's crack into another one. TNT. Yo. I, uh, I wanted to talk about the chaos inside the Crazy Town compound. Oh, man. So, <laughs> you're so, just going to tell people we live in a bad neighborhood. Well, That's right. all you're doing. Well, hold on. I'm, I'm, I'm going to preface it before we get into the most recent event. So, um, I, I have lived in the Crazy Town compound for a very long time. Uh-huh. Like, even when I was married, I lived in the Crazy Town compound. And, uh, and when I first lived, it's, it, I've seen it evolve. And it's a fairly, it it's a fairly, I mean, the, all the buildings were painted different colors. You know, it, they, they've really done a lot to the place. Okay. Made it, made it nicer. It got bought out by another. Oh, yeah. Years yeah. ago, it got bought out by another company. This is, this is tell them our address. Yeah. Yeah. This is tell them our yeah. address. So, <laughs> this is tell them the address. We you know, here. and one, t- like in all the years I've lived here, which is like more than five. Uh-huh. I won't go into how long. One time my car got broken into, but it must have been unlocked because they didn't break the window. And all they stole was like the change out of my console and my key fob to open the gate. Mm. So no harm, no foul. Like somebody's Honestly, going around checking doors. That's like, crazy, Joe. You might be patient zero. Right, you probably exactly. gave the original key fob that allowed all the criminals to get in. Yeah, right. So wow. then we come to 2024. Wow. And we've talked about this on the channel. So. You know, granted, I had a Kia, so like the Kia boys are out there, but my car was stolen twice this year. Mm, come, you know, come on, come on. A Jeff. couple, a couple weeks ago, someone was murdered here. Come, come on, Jack. You know, you know, yeah. And die now, sometime. something that even if in my wildest dreams I would have not thought was a re- was, and I also, by the way, you don't even know this. I have more info about this that you do not know. Okay, that's what's up. So, uh, so do you want to tell the story of me? Because you were actually outside when this happened. All right. So your boy Dynamite, I got, I got, all, I got out of work. You know, I, I uh, came home and I was like, I'll take a nice jog around the, uh, the old, the old jog track, in the parking lot essentially, because you know, inner city. Anyway, so I'm taking my, mor- <laughs> I'm taking my morning jog, you know, and I finally get done. I'm so got a nice sweat going. You know, I'm feeling pretty good. Got the endorphins flowing, and I see, I hear police sirens. I'm walking up to the door and I'm like, no, those sirens are getting closer and they sound like they're close by. That doesn't make a lot of sense because the nearest road is, you know. Yeah, yeah, because we we, like where we live is off the road and there's a bunch of stuff. You know, there's like a a large parking lot. Yeah. So I just I kind of like slow down and I go back out to look down the parking lot and I see a what a white Bronco. (laughs) It was like like an F-150 or or not uh, probably smaller than that. But either way, a white pickup truck is driving at high speeds through the parking lot being pursued by a police officer lights blaring and they drive around the cul-de-sac and then they just head off down the park in the parking lot now the parking lot is in a in an apartment complex so let's get it straight here there's like winding there was literally a high speed chase in the crazy town compound around the perimeter parking areas of the of the crazy town compound Literally, dude was probably blowing forty miles an hour in the car, in the Bro, apartment complex. I mean, there's like speed bumps and shit, so like you yeah. can't go a hundred in here. There ain't enough straight lines to go a hundred. Hey. But homeboy was going as fast as he could, squeeching tires, turning corners. Oh, he had he had battle damage on the side of his vehicle because you could already tell they had been t-boned already by the police officers during the pursuit. But he was just convinced that he was going to escape yes. in the parking lot. So, yeah, so my version was like, I went to go sit down at my computer and looked out the window, the same thing, and I was like, I th- those sirens sound really close. And what? then I saw him zooming by. Um, so I I was actually at the, the pool last night, uh-huh. and there was a guy that I see over there all the time. I, I've, I've, I, he, I see him all the time over there, and I chit-chat with him. So I said, did you see the high-speed chase the other day? And he said... Yes. And he goes, I knew that there was only one way out of the crazy town compound. So I threw on some shorts and ran to the front of the complex to see what was going to happen yeah. because he was either going to ram through the gate, ram through the gate or man. there was going to be cops waiting for yeah, him. Obviously. Or, like, um, so it's kind of anticlimactic, but what he says, he ran up there and the gate was open. So, but the, the other cops hadn't arrived yet. <gasps> so, so he zoomed out, got back on the main street, and headed the towards fu- the freeway. <gasps> And then he said, like, about one minute later, he saw another cop going down the road towards the free. So they were like, 
60 seconds late to have like a confrontation like in the parking lot. Yeah, 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 yeah. But so, he made it out. He actually he, made it he out. He made it out. Wow. Yeah. Honestly, Joe. I thought he was gonna die in the parking lot. Jonas, look, I do not condone violence, but I respect the man who stands on business. <laughs> All right? And standing on business is running from the cops. And, and getting it going. I don't know exactly. if he got away, but getting it going. Yeah, like because that's business. I think. Because and like I came out and I was talking to you about this afterwards, and yeah. I was like, "What do I like?" Obviously, you know, he he did something, right? Like, because what well, I mean, and yeah, it could have been something. On as business. Sim- it could have been something as simple as speeding, and he has a warrant. Yeah. But I, what I asked Dynamite was, all things aside. How much jail, jail time do you think you get for strictly running from the cops? Uh, you, you can't just run from the cops. And, like, so. and your point was, like, you have to do something. And I was like, okay, yeah, you got to at least be speeding. <laughs> what can you do to get the cops to chase you? You, ta- you tag them and say you're it. Squeeze his butt and say, come here, cutie, and jump <laughs> in your car and run away. Like Squeeze his butt. That's sexual assault, Jonas. That will get you, uh, yeah. that will get you yeah, attacked by a exactly. cop. It will so, take you in for that. So but uh, so you already got two. That's two crimes. And yeah. then running, running from the cops. Cops is never just running from the cops. It's always running from the cops, reckless driving. Uh, well, and then they're going to stack on every try. And I joked with you, they're like, and we'll sprinkle some crack on you yeah, <laughs> at exactly. the end. Like, By the way, you were transporting narcotics. Exactly. Because here's the thing. Because well, because here, here, I guess, and, I, and I'm sure this has happened. Because, I mean, people transporting drugs, you don't, you don't think you're doing anything wrong. What? Wait, no, no, no. <laughs> Excuse, driving wise. Okay. And, like, it's as simple as, like, you have a, you have a brake light out. You don't signal the turn, and the cop just happens to you know because they can pull you over for anything. You could be driving perfect as fuck, and you don't signal the turn, and a cop can pull you over. And then at that point, you're like, my life is over. I'm transporting drugs, or I have a warrant, or whatever. And that's where you get panicky, and you're like, I'm gonna run. So it, you could have been done, doing nothing. That dude definitely had warrants. <laughs> oh, or something. Yeah. That dude definitely had a warrant. If he don't, you do now. Yeah. <laughs> You yeah, know? he had a bad day because he probably <laughs> ended up dead. A bad he, day, he probably ended up dead because he probably got on the freeway. He probably started doing like a hundred. They threw down some spike strips. They t-boned him. They did that thing where they clip your back end and make you spin out. Oh yeah, the pit maneuver. The, yeah, man, they like pitted him. They probably know, pitted like, him. I was I, I was telling TNT. I think we live in a bad neighborhood now. No, see, look, and and here's and here's my thinking. Here is my thinking, is that. You've resided here longer than I have, right? Uh, I mean, just by a couple years. To be so yeah. how, how how long are we talking? We're like talking 10 years almost? Oh, yeah. I've, I've lived in basically, yeah, in this, yeah, for like so 11 years. In 10 years, let's just, you know, let's round it down to 10 years. If in 10 years, your car has been broken into twice, but mind you, you had a Kia. So obviously your chance well, of getting your car. Well, three times, including the stolen fob. So, and you had a But Kia. it was stolen too. It wasn't just broken into. So are you having a Kia takes your chances of getting your car stolen up what? Oh. How much would you say? I'll let 100%, you be the- <laughs> At least double. It brings up the a odds. Realistic number. I'm no, say no, like no, 70%. no, no, no. Not the odds that it's going to get stolen. The odds that my odds are double, 100% higher because I have a Kia. Not 100% that. My odds of having my Kia broken into are 100% higher than yours. What? <laughs> That's how math works. <laughs> okay, sure. All right, fine. So good. So what do you, you think your R's are getting broken into? I don't know. Either way, you gave the number. So the whole point is, is that so you're driving a Kia, so your car's going to get stolen. Sorry. Sorry. Buy a Kia, your car's going to get stolen. Eventually, it's going to happen. Yeah, yeah, if you buy a Kia and those dates without the update, your car's going to get stolen. Sorry, it happens. I mean, it's, in it's, my defense, I had it since it was brand new, and it didn't happen until... Exactly. Yeah, I had a great run, man. I had the car for 10 years, so... so your car got stolen, but we have to put the asterisks on there. Right. We have to put it because, you, you know, steroids. Um, and then... <laughs> Barry Bonds. And then a high-speed chase. Murder. <laughs> Talk about the murder first. Okay, God damn it. So, yeah, motherfuckers die. All but right. wait, <laughs> people, people die. Come, Sorry, people pe- die. People don't come to your house and murder you. Nobody came to my house and murdered me. If alive. you didn't do something wild. I'm not victim blaming here, but you are right. Well, but yeah, I'm, I'm not, not victim blaming, it's his but fault you are right. He died or her fault, I don't know. Yeah. But like most of the time, if you get murdered, 
It ain't because you didn't do nothing. Oh Yeah, look, man. I, There's random acts of violence. Definitely. And this could have been that. And I, I hope that it was. I, do I hope that? I don't know. Either Look. So, yeah. Is it know, worse if it was premeditated or a random act of violence? I figure in 10 years, you're going to have a murder. Somebody's going to die in 10 years. That's all I'm saying. It's I don't know what's you know, worse. But I think I told you this. The apartment complex I lived at in Cleveland before I moved here, my car got broken into. My car got stolen. And there was a murder in the building before I moved there. Like, it just seems like it's normal for me. I mean, uh, this kind of shows your tax bracket, to be honest. Um, <laughs> I mean, you know, go ahead. Speak your truth, King. <laughs> hey, I'm alive. And then a high-speed chase. That's the one in the middle. That was the first one of those I've ever seen that up close. I don't know if it was for you. I've never... I've ever, well, I mean, I think I've seen... Wait, have yeah, I ever seen... I guess like, I've a, seen, like, people running... A car chase. Yeah. But not, like... It's one thing to see a car... Go, like, I've seen a car on the freeway speed by, yeah, and yeah. then a cop pull them over. Yeah. I've never seen someone fleeing the police. That, that was crazy. That's the part... That was that, literally GTA-type shit that we saw that day. So was. if that was a first for both of us, then, look, I don't think we necessarily live in a bad neighborhood. I think we live in a higher... Right. We live in a we live in the tenth largest city in the country. So wild shit's gonna happen. And it's constantly growing. They're constantly putting they're constantly building up new apartments. Structures. There's there's yeah. more people in a smaller area, so there's higher chance of bad it's, actors yep. being around. Yep. And that doesn't even mean that they're letting worse people live here. It's like a guy lives here and his girlfriend's a piece of crap. A girl lives here, her boyfriend's a piece of crap. Like he's not on the lease. She's not on they just stay here. Yep. Somebody doesn't take their meds. Right, yeah, exactly. Like <laughs> decides to go more jack of off chance. in the parking lot. And since I've lived here, they've built like four communities around here. So I think. So um but anyways, that's all the time we have for today's episode. Cause we live in a bad neighborhood. <laughs> we don't live we live in a bad world. Yeah. That's the real. So Anyways, that's all time we have for this episode. Go to crazy.com to subscribe for Jonas. TNT! Uh, we out.